sur l'Express la semaine dernière, deux passionnés de l'espace s'apprêtent à battre le record du monde en faisant le tour du monde via les deux pôles, une mission baptisée One More Orbit. Trois pays ont été choisis pour le transit, dont Maurice. Les membres de l'équipage sont à bord du jet bi-réacteur le plus rapide du monde. L'appareil a déjà effectué son premier arrêt de ravitaillement au Kazakhstan et il a et il est attendu dans quelques minutes ici. Bien évidemment, la tension est montée d'un cran. Il y a de quoi qu'il s'agit quand même d'un événement sans précédent. Sachez qu'ils ont pris 18 minutes de moins pour se ravitailler au Kazakhstan. Est-ce que l'équipage pourra réitérer cet exploit ici Attendons voir. journey so far? Uh, it was, it's been an amazing trip. We're bringing Hamish up here and Ganani, all of us, all of us, come on up. The, the flight here was fast. It happened very quickly. Um, taking off out of Kazakhstan, they got us off, they got us on and we were on the road. And then we, we flew over the Middle East quickly and then it's been Indian Ocean for a few hours. Uh, but it was pretty uneventful. Mostly we stayed low and because we had enough gas, we were able to go very fast. And what are the challenges you had to face so far? The, the big challenge, there's several. One of them is the fuel stops, and the other one is the weather. There, we haven't had any weather problems. What other challenges, Hamish? Anything? No, no, uh, the difficult sector is coming up right now. Yeah. This is the uh, only one that we have any, uh, any concerns over, because we're going over Antarctica in the middle of winter, so that there are no divert airfields in Antarctica in the winter. So we have to go at a speed which gives us enough fuel that if we have one of the uh, classic emergencies, a lost engine or depressurization, we can still make it back to Africa up to a certain point. And beyond that, we have to be able to turn right immediately, abandon the pole and go straight to Chile. So the, pu the population here is very curious. Why was Mauritian chosen? Well, geographically, it worked very well. Um, and I, I actually chose Mauritius because I've been here about five times and I know you guys are very effective. We need a quick turn. Um, so we wanted somewhere in the su southern part of Africa that was really effective and could rise to a challenge, which you guys appear to be doing. So will the record be broken or not? Uh, we think so, yeah. We're, we're on track at the moment, I think. Unless something goes wrong, we're on track. How the preparations went for this mission? They were a lot and busy, and there was a lot to do before the mission. Even a few days ago, we were in the Gulfstream factory making sure the airplane was ready, and we got it wired up for a live stream that's the first ever of its kind, uh, partnering with Inmarsat. Our engineer, Yannicka, is really doing the first ever of that kind. The biggest preparation was through Hamish. Hamish is one of our pilots and uh, the architect of the whole thing, but planning out the fuel, down to the very detail. Also, the Qatar executive has uh, pilots here on the ground working. We have a film crew here on the ground to film it. We want to make a documentary about it to share the story with the world. There was a lot, lot, lot of preparation. And the only reason it worked is because of the team that we have. So you have quite an international team here we from Poland. We have a very international team. How we had to work to... We had 10 different nations, 10 people, 10 nations on this flight. How is it to work together? We are friends. Great. It's yeah. very easy and simple. Yeah. It's good. Everyone is professional. Yeah. So it is, it is, it you have one record on your name. How important is this for you? Say, look. You have one record already? How uh, important is this record? <laughs> this is the second record. Yeah, yeah, second record. Is that important? Yes, very important. Yeah. For me, one more orbit. One more orbit. Yes, yeah. I can add in my orbit in space. So, how many orbits are you now? 14,065 orbits. 
That's eight a lot of orbit. 879 days. <laughs> and why was this mission important to commemorate the 50 years after the Apollo 11 mission? Well, yeah, so I'll say a couple things. For Hamish and I and Gennady, when we grew up, the space program, Apollo, Yuri Gagarin, Leonov, uh, the space shuttle, those were, that's, that's why we're doing what we're doing today. They inspired us, and we want kids in the future to be inspired also. But it's not only the 50th anniversary, this is the 500th anniversary of Magellan doing the first trip around the Earth. So this summer is the Apollo 50 and Magellan 500, which is a really appropriate thing for us to be celebrating. Okay. Thank All you. right. Thank That's you very good. much. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys.